The latest Indian Citizenship Amendment Bill proposes that uh, Christians, Buddhists, Sikhs, and other religious minorities coming from neighboring countries would get protection, refugee status, and eventual citizenship in India. That's a blatant lie. What is India trying to portray? Is India trying to portray that it's a safe haven for Hindus, Sikhs, Christians, Zains coming from other neighboring countries? Is that what India is trying to portray? The fact of the matter is, India is the worst nation for Christians to live in in the world. If you take uh, even Bangladesh into consideration, because uh, Narendra Modi government has some issues with Bangladesh and because Narendra Modi always hated Bangladesh, for whatever reason. Now, if you take the latest data from all reliable sources from around the world, you will see Christians have the safest abode in Bangladesh, whereas Christians are worse persecuted in India. Thousands of Christians are killed every year in India. Bisho Hindu Parishad and other Hindu fanatic organizations forcibly deconvert Hindus back to Hinduism. There are many, many examples as such. And also, hundreds of Christian churches come under attack every year in India. In an average, one Christian is killed every week in India. Now go ahead and do some own research about what's going on to Christians in Bangladesh. No, Christians are not in heaven in Bangladesh. But they are much, much better off, far better off in Bangladesh. Do an honest survey. Now, what about Buddhists? Where are they going to come from? They come from Bangladesh. They come from Pakistan. Where are they going to come from? Sri Lanka? Why should Sri Lankans come from uh, their country to India? Whereas Sri Lanka is a Buddhist majority country. Sinhalese people are in power. So why the hell would they come to India for? Whereas... Christians in Manipur won independence now from India because look at the record of persecution of Christians in Manipur state of India, which has now declared independence. What about Buddhists in Bangladesh? Even for argument's sake, if you take that they are persecuted, they will go to neighboring Burma or Myanmar or to Thailand or Laos or Cambodia where Buddhists are in majority. Why on earth? Should they come to India when India is poorer than Thailand? Why on earth should they come to India? So this is a farce. The, the truth is, in Hindutva political ideology, Hindutvas don't even recognize Christianity and Islam as religions. The lies of Narendra Modi is endless because Narendra Modi himself is a terrorist who was banned from entering the U.S. for 10 years following genocide of Muslims in Gujarat. Now, they will not recognize Rohingyas as genuine refugees because they have the agenda of hatred against Muslims. The same way Hitler had treated the Jewish people, the founders of Shipshena and other religious fanatic groups want to single out Muslim community the same way. And eventually, they will persecute all other religious minorities in India. India is not the safe haven even for Sikhs. Read the history of Sikh persecution in India in 1984 by Hindu fanatics. Sikhs were never persecuted anywhere else like this in the world. The fact is, Hindus are worse persecuted in India as well. 24% of upper caste Hindus persecute 75% of lower caste Hindus in India. They rule and dominate the economy of India, the higher caste Hindus. The lower caste Hindus are considered untouchable. 170 million lower caste Hindus are untouchables in India. In Bangladesh, where the Hindus are in minority, Muslims don't even know who belongs to higher caste, who belongs to lower caste. And India, even if a lower caste Hindu dies, he can't be taken to the crematorium in direct road. He has to go a roundabout way. 
marrying into different castes is a serious trouble in India. So Hindus are worse persecuted in India itself. So how India claims that it's going to be a safe haven even for Hindus? Huh? Look, about the, look at the history of Buddhist persecution in India. Why do you think Buddhism couldn't survive after Ashoka in India? Because Buddhists were persecuted by Hindu fanatics in India. So this is a farce that India is going to be a safe haven for, for religious communities from neighboring countries. To Christians, to, to Buddhists, to Jains, to Sikhs. That's a blatant lie. Don't fall for it.